watching, waiting. Don't look. He'll see you. Don't move. We click on the code and we start the episode. Ah, ah, ah. What's up, you little creeps? Welcome back. Under mum. It is been a little awesome to be the other man. All right, so yeah. What's that dude's name? He's like, his name's like Imar Dot or something. He's like, he's like, he's like a white dude from England, but he like raps Jamaican. I don't know how to, he's, he's cool. He does like, what's, what's his famous line? Uh, I fucked the pussy, the pussy turned red. Something, 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 something. Yeah. Well, this is what y'all missed. We haven't been back since July. Has uh, it been that long? Oh my god. Ju- yeah. It's crazy. We've been busy. We and now up. we're here. We fucking up. I fucked that pussy. That pussy turned red. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and then you add a little cocoa to do the do. You know what I mean? And let's do this off right. What's <laughs> up, YouTube? What's going on, y'all? <laughs> What's going on, y'all creeps? It's Good to be back. I know that we've been gone for since you've been gone. Uh, uh, you know. Oh, you pause. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wait, wait. You're so, pausing. You're so. you were lagging for a second. Hold on. I know because my service back here is fucking garbage. Um, Hold on. You're like slightly I, lagging. What the fuck, dude? I hate my service back here. It's fucking garbage. Yeah, you're like slightly behind. Your video is slightly behind your voice. This is fucking stupid. Cool, love that for me. Um, uh, well, uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about movie creatures stuff. I think it's slowly <laughs> catching up. I think you're good now. So, um, so creatures are cool. People, yeah, great, great people, opening. <laughs> fuck you. People make stuff that doesn't exist. And that's pretty damn cool to me. So why like, not start off? And shut up! Why like, not? <laughs> like babies? Shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> People make babies and shit. Yeah. No, go ahead. That's stuff that doesn't exist. You make babies. That's all I wanted to say. Okay, you can go. Take a sip of my ghost. Yes, I'm drinking it out of. You're drinking a ghost at eight, bro. I wouldn't even sleep. Uh, I'm barely human, so it's okay. Um, fair point. Why not start off with the best created thing ever, Universal Monsters? Um, we got garbage. I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. It was a joke. Hey, y'all! This could be Chandler's last episode because I'm going to kill him. You can't kill what already wants to die. <laughs> Depression. Comedy. Hey, Lexapro, sponsor me. That is the wildest sponsorship I've ever heard in my entire life. Or what's the what, what, better help? Sponsor me. I need it. Better help Chandler. He needs it. Uh, <laughs> better help. You better help my ass. <laughs> Without your therapy, I'm about to die. You know what I mean? All right. So let's talk about Universal Monsters. We got motherfucking frankenstein mr frankie boy we got the mummy aka toilet paper man we got the fucking wolf man we've got creature from the black lagoon the best one and um uh, we've got mutoid monster we got the mole we got phantom of the opera am you're i missing, missing one? one yep you're missing Which a one? big one besides we, bride right are we t- wait are we talking like just the monster squad in general or are we talking like no, all like universal, you, monsters? I, universal monsters you're missing one, like one well, big one. I know I'm missing bride, which I said bride. What what did I just do a video on the other day? OG versus remake. You didn't watch my video. You didn't watch my video. Mother. <laughs> my own co-host doesn't watch my videos that I post. Hey, 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 hey. I was Thanks. busy editing our Sir Henry's video, oh, by the way, that, if you haven't checked that out. Shut up! By the way, that, if you haven't checked out our Sir Henry's video yet, you really should, because it was really fun. And if you're in the Central Florida area, you should totally go, because that haunt fucking rocks. Yeah, my OG vs. Remake video part three that got like 1,700 views on TikTok, I know, I saw. Which is pretty decent, uh, um, but you don't watch that shit. Oh, uh, Dracula! Nope. What do you mean? The Invisible Man. Yeah! You can't see him! He John Cena! 
So basically what what you've been telling me this whole time is John Cena is secretly the Invisible Man. He's not secretly the Invisible Man. He is the Invisible Man. He's like the go-to Invisible Man. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> because he is invisible. Yeah, he, he five knuckles shuffles your ass when you, you least expect can't it. can't see him. <laughs> That's not the phrase. <laughs> it's you can't see me. Bitch, I'm talking about him. You I'm not John see Cena. You can him. see me. <laughs> Look at me. You can see me. I'm not John Cena. I mean, if I was John Cena, I'd be fucking ripped and wearing shorts and hella at rich. all times. Hella rich. And I, I'd have those, I'd have those fucking sweatbands on my forearms that don't be, do anything. He'd be busting fat rhymes and busting fat nuts in Nikki Bella. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, this is where we're going with the episode. So. Okay. So Universal Monsters have obviously besides the universal branding have branched off into all their own movies. We have a million Frankenstein movies. We have a million Wolfman movies. So many Dracula Wolf movies. movies. So many Dracula movies. Um, we've got Creature from the Black Lagoon from 1954. Hands down the best universal monster ever created and filmed in Florida. Okay, thank you. Movie um, sucks. Garbage. Absolute dog shit. Hey Chandler. Like I, I know you're well aware, but I know where you live. I also have a key. I also have a key to your house. Slurpy dog water, bro. That's what he swims in. He swims in the dog water he's made of. For reference, he has a tattoo of this creature. And I also collect a ton of creature stuff. Also, I go to Chan's house almost every weekend, and I'm going to beat the dog shit out of him when I get there tomorrow. I forgot what you said last time. I'll even make a TikTok about it. You said you know something what? last time prior to that. I, I'm, I'm going to make a TikTok about it. Now you're going to beat me up? Or you're gonna, like, yeah, I'm, me I'm literally going to make a TikTok pulling up to your house, opening the door, and then yelling you, yelling you, that's yelling, you. yelling at you and attacking mm-hmm. you wherever you happen to be with whatever item I find closest he's, to He's He's going to yell me. <laughs> that's, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Well. <laughs> So cool. <laughs> One was that good for you? <laughs> oh god. God dang. Anyway, I'll be here. I don't know I don't know how many of these movies we actually want to talk about. Like there's a, there's a lot cuz I don't like there's so many to cover. Honestly, I I base it just off like the fact of like which one's your well your favorite's obvious, so I feel like that's not even a a topic to discuss. So it's like I don't know. Like, which one has the most long-lasting impact? I guess we could say. Like, who do you think is the most well-known out of the Universal monsters? I assume it's obviously Dracula. It's got to be Dracula, right? Because at this part, there's so many depictions of Dracula, who he was. Like, we could take it to real life with uh, Vlad the Impaler, who like technically brought out the Dracula concept. Um, Yeah. That people called him a vampire because he blank drug or drank the blood of his enemies or whatever. Um, God dang. So that's one thing. Or like you can go to like the most recent, like Last Voyage of the Demeter, I guess, is technically meant to be a, and Renfield. A, yeah, and Renfield. They're all concepts of Dracula specifically. Um Helsing, technically, I think is actually no, that's Alucard, so he's not Dracula. Um, but forgive me. But regardless, there's just so many concepts of dracula at this point i feel like vampires are arguably the most well-known I think creature so. probably in like the mythos right yeah at least i would argue that maybe werewolves next after that but yeah because there's know. a lot of werewolf films too god there's so many <laughs> i'm not a big fan of like werewolf films to be honest like there's there, not- there's, there's like a handful of good ones there's really not many that hit for me i think dog soldiers yeah, it's the American Howling. Werewolf, The Howling, Dog Soldiers, Ginger Snaps, Silver maybe, Bullet. Maybe maybe Silver Bullet. Yeah. Five. My hand's gotta be backwards so I can see. Five. <laughs> um one, two, three, four, five. The count. Can you do the uh, entire uh, episode? Uh, 
I can't, I can't take my serious my, my fucking words. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously to begin with, like talk, let alone being the cow. Talk like the Swedish chef the whole time. Is that what you wanted? He's that was also good. He, he's also my favorite Muppet. So. That was really good. You didn't mention IKEA though. You need to mention IKEA like one time. And then he grabs the chicken and he goes. Rrr, rrr. <laughs> that's that's the best part. If y'all ride Muppets at Disney, you know what I'm talking about. That shit rocks. Universal. Universal's better. It's fun. It's fine. I don't like roller coasters, and you have one good ride. That's ET. I said it. I don't care. You're wrong. Blow up the rest of Universal. Leave ET standing alone uh, by how itself. How dare you, sir? Men in Black? Really? How dare you disrespect Men in Black? That's not even a roller coaster. You could ride that. I know. I like Men in Black. Yeah, that's what I thought, you bitch. That's me, baby. Don't wear it out. <laughs> bitch? Just the bitch? Yeah. I'm thinking. Um, yeah, we could literally talk about anything associated with the Universal Monster Universe. That's stupid to say uh, forever. But uh, the the next one on here is the big one. We got the fucking thing, y'all. One of the coolest. Is there creature. a legitimate name? I don't. I don't think. Well, Mrs. Norris is like c- kind of, but that's only when like it comes out of his chest and it has like the long scaling yeah. neck and shit. And it goes. Ooh. But I don't. That's not like the full just overall name. No. Thing, yeah. Right? I just. I think it's just called the thing. Like I feel like, well, yeah, that shit was like a that space, was a yeah. head. It was a snake looking thing. It was a spider. It was also it, a dog. It was a person. That's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Arguably the best horror film ever made. I need to rewatch that movie now. I think about it. Dude, the best practical effects ever made. I I think it's a perfect movie. I mean, that's the thing. Like that's why I, the thing. That's the thing. <laughs> um. So. I wish I could laugh in lowercase like that kid on TikTok who does like the squeegee laugh. Um, and you just gotta go. Ah, no, just don't move your mouth. mouth. No, not, not even, even that. He did, no, like the kid, the the mother flipper in the car. Yeah. Who I think is a bit, but apparent, uh, which he is, I guess. That's, I can't tell if he's a bit. It's not. Um, <laughs> that's what he does. He does that shit. It, it is does. a bit. You t- you told me it was a bit. Yeah, it's but it's his whole account though. Right, but but yeah. he's that's not him, right? That's that yeah, that's a character he's playing. Yes, I course. hope. It Mother is. flipper looks like the radio's broken, shoddy. <laughs> I I don't know how he does it. I can't do it. it sounds like you're wiping glass with a fucking sponge or some shit. Um, but yeah, thing is arguably the best. I think most horror fans would agree it's probably the best horror film ever made. Most that. Or The Exorcist. I have my hot take One on The Exorcist. Two, yeah. But but arguably those would probably be like the two that go head to head. Maybe Silence of the Lambs if people consider that horror-ish. Um, and then you got all the annoying people who would be like, it's The Conjuring. It's like, no, it's no, it's not. <laughs> Conjuring's a good movie, but it is not that good. Yes. So, But yes, the thing is sick and remains to be so honestly um probably one of the coolest creatures ever made that's what i'm saying like i mean it it, like i don't want to say it body snatched but it kind of did i mean yeah it's it's just like infiltrated other things but then was its like own thing too yeah so it could be like that's it's just a shapeshifter so it could be like its own thing it could be something else whatever the fuck you know blah 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 how do do dot a? You know, that's all. God dang. All on the bay, go eat some hay. What do you say? <laughs> nay, I play, nay. I play golf with Shooter McGavin. Yep. That's was, that was Happy Gilmore. <laughs> that's like one of my favorite movie quotes. <laughs> Shout what do you Sam say? Taylor. What do you say? Why don't we go with some hay by the bay? It might, we might just may. <laughs> Like an I'm gay. <laughs> That's not part of it, but it should have been. Jesus Christ. And what a good way to transition out of the thing into the other best, well, the best cosmic horror ever made, which is Alien. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess it depends if you consider the thing cosmic horror, which I you guess see that um, that's like uh, where it I'm is. At. I don't know. It is, it but, is like, but it's it's like I feel like to me, Alien is a different film because it takes place in space. Yeah, I would call cosmic like well, see, I would say I call cosmic in space, but cosmic is also Mandy. Cosmic well, is also well, yeah, more yeah, obvious. yeah. So those are cosmic films, like Lovecraftian films or whatever yeah. you want to put it. Sci-fi, I guess, is the overall arcing theme. But to me, a movie in space is its own entity for some reason. And I don't space know why. Movies. Like, yeah. would the thing and the Alien be considered both sci-fi horror films? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Alien, just for the fact that it takes place in space, is so different to me. Where um, no one can hear you scream. Jerk off. Yeah. Um, that's how it goes, right? No? Okay. Um, I don't think that's tagline at all. It's close, right? Well, see, in your case, it would be where no one can hear you cream. But there we go. We, why, but, don't um, we make, why don't we make spoof horror shirts? Oh and they, they say stuff like that. And it's just like a xenomorph, like busting a nut on something. That's why we can't sell it. There you go. There you go. So it's xenomorph, right? And it's little head coming out of its mouth. And the little one has a little dick. And then he's just jerking off. Mm-mm. Great yeah, ideas. This is, why, this is why we don't do this. Great ideas. It would mm-hmm. sell. It would sell. I don't know that it would. You can't tell me a little xenomorph or a face hugger. Fucking face hugging, but it's got a wiener. So it's. <laughs> so it's. Uh, so, so, or, a, so a face hugger. Yeah, That's face hugger. Or hear me out, hear me out. So it's a face hugger, but instead of attaching to your face, it attaches to your wiener. So you have like a dude with a face hugger on his penis on a shirt, and he's going like, ah, or something like that. I don't know. These are great ideas. We have to utilize them, all right? I think spoof sexual parody shirts of horror movies would be great. The thing, instead of it bursting out of his stomach, Bursting out of his ass. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> you can't tell me <laughs> this wouldn't be great. What do you mean? There's so many good ones. We already got the mummy, like uh, whatever. You could literally be like, like a universal monster. The mummy. We already put a band name for him. Uh, what was the name? <laughs> The cummy mummy. The cummy mummy. You could do a shirt with the cummy mummy. And it's just <laughs> just just jizz dripping off a mummy or something. I don't know. Shit, these are quality ass ideas. I'm just saying. No. So okay. The xenomorph <laughs> is fucking scary, y'all. <laughs> Good, and then good. the mama xenomorph. Good segue. She big mad. Got Dude. big old fucking head and shit. This is the xenomorph is, like. That's exactly what it looks like. The xenomorph is wild to me just because I always forget that an actual guy. It's played a man, yeah. The xenomorph in the real one? Or like in the original one? The real one, yeah. Um, the original one. Yikes. And obviously they went away from that with the newer ones and whatever, but and it's still just the effects of it are still wild and still scary as hell. Even yeah. in the original. Um, honestly, I feel like out of all these, if I saw a xenomorph, that's one where I'm like, nah, yeah, <laughs> I got, yeah. no, I got, I got nothing for you. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go that way. I'm gonna jump into space real quick so you can't get me. Okay. So hear me out. Different scenario, right? You're going on a blind date, and you're you're on your their ship's called the Nostros, I think, right? I, I think, think so. whatever. You're on a blind date. That the crew set up for you, and you sit down at a nice candlelit dinner with and, a fresh with a fresh Chianti. Yes, and then Mama Xenomorph sits down. She said, "Give me a kiss," and then like her other little mouth pops out, and you're like, mm. "Give a like a little smooch." Shirt idea: <laughs> sitting at a diner, t- like a little dinner table, and it's a guy trying to smooch something, and it's the Xenomorph on the other side with its little mouth going out and says, "Give me a kiss." These are great shirt ideas. I'll take it. I'm just saying. We wanted to make a merch company. You're right. There you go. Ideas. We can um, do the self-deprecation ones. We can do these as well. 
the ideas. Or like self-deprecating, oh, there we go, self-deprecating whore theme shirts. So like, uh, Freddie's like, I'm really burnt out. Or like... <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. You can't give all these ideas away. This is free marketing for something that doesn't I'm, exist. I'm copywriting y'all. Fuck this. I'm copywriting this. Let that be proof. This is why some of these things stay in private. Right? <laughs> That's good, though. Like, Man, you, have, you ever been blown away? Brundlefly did, and he was damn. next on the list. God damn. <laughs> Um, I, was about, yeah. I, was about, I was about to say ghost face. You could be like, damn, why the long face? I'm depressed. And then it's, they're good. They're good. Just saying. Brando Fly. Cronenberg. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, Gene Davis. She's like, oh, I love you. He's like, have my fly children. She's like, ew. 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 And then, and then oh, gross. her boyfriend was like, I'm going to save you, Gina. And then Butterfly is like, I'm a drip acid all over your motherfucking leg, and then rip it off. And then he was like, oh, he was like going into shock and shit. And then he managed to hold a shotgun and go, whammo. And then, now that's it, y'all. And then that, Jeff, that was, Goldblum, Jeff Goldblum's like, I'm Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> More like Jeff Goldboom, you know what I'm saying? Damn. <laughs> sure, I idea. Bro, <laughs> Jeff Gold boom, and then it's him get it no, quality splatted. <laughs> I'd like to get splatted if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You don't need to worry about it. It's fun. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. <laughs> um. Next, we have one of the coolest fucking creatures ever made, and that's the goddamn predator. He's got two fucking mouths with fucking are they are they pincers on the front? I don't really know what they're called. Like on, on his actual mouth. Are they pincers? Probably or some then, shit like that. You know? He's got like braids or like dreads or some shit. He's Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> He's Jamaican. There's no think, way the predator is not Jamaican. I don't think Predator is Jamaican, bro. Bro. He's got dreads. He's got the little clamps in them. If I don't hear Predator just hey, yelling. Bum, but, uh, yeah. No, 100%. <laughs> I was going to say, Einstein's feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme. Does Predator have a bobsled team? Okay, here we go. We're going to combine new idea. Predator, cool runnings. Some people say, you know, you can't believe a Predator got a laser beam. He's got that fucking, he's got the fucking laser thing. He has a shoulder cannon. He got the fucking laser disc. Fucking bullshit. Captain America style. That shit rocks. I love Predator's creature design. Yeah, I'm funny. Everybody says I'm not funny. Take notes. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Please write that down. Make That's got to be the TikTok. That's got to be the TikTok. I'll nail some people, you know, we can't believe I'm Predator. I have a laser beam. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. And then, um, and then Predator says, you did? And then they all say, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because <laughs> they are. Yeah, Predator is fucking cool. And he's got he's, fucking oh, he's got fucking night vision. And he's got whatever the other fucking vision is. The, the heat. The heat vision? Yeah. yeah, he's he's pretty much like. Could the, you use <laughs> the ultimate predator? <laughs> could you use heat vision to like? I don't know, like warm up a hot pocket. I don't think that's how. It's not. That's like, that's it's not like the same. La that, that's like laser vision, like what Superman has. Heat. Well, they call it heat vision. Heat vision, or like what he has, is he can see heat signatures. Not he can make it. So you can stare at a hot pocket for a solid five hours. Don't mean it's going to get hot. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. They do be like that sometimes. Um, <laughs> gremlins. You can buy it from a weird ass guy in a fucking sus ass market in a basket. And he's like, hey, 
Don't feed it past midnight and don't you give it water, you motherfucker. And but they do it anyway. Light either. Yeah, they you do, do it anyway. anyway. Yeah, Corey Feldman, whatever. Um, yeah, but then they turn into little assholes. He, he thinks he's Michael Jackson. <laughs> he does. Corey, and, Feldman uh, is a, Corey Feldman's a creature of his own. <laughs> yes, I, I agree 100%. That's all I can really say about it. Um, Gremlins, yeah. versus, Gremlins versus Predator. Who wins? Predator. Blow them all. Blow them nah, all. Nah, nah, Gremlins got it. JK. Predator fucks them up. Let's be no, real. That's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, Gremlins are little assholes, except for Gizmo. Well, except for, ex Gizmo. except for. Well, I take that back. That first, the first breed, not the new breed. Jokes. Mm. Um, the first breed before they all get water on them and shit or eat. They are all cute. <laughs> and Gizmo's just watching race. He's like, ah, ah. he's, he's adorable. Um, he's adorable. And then they, they do be getting wet, wet. And then spikes like, fuck y'all. We're going to go take over this fucking community center and this bar. I can't get past gremlins be getting wet, wet. My like gremlins. That. My gremlins be getting wet, wet. I wish. God. And obviously, if you like gremlins, watch Gremlins Two. Gremlins Two, the new batch is fucking great. Uh, I haven't seen Secrets of the Ma the Mogwai. I don't know if it's out yet. Uh, if it is, you know, you've seen it. Let you, know, us know. The, you know, for the longest time, the freaking uh, the band. For the longest the, time. Okay, what? <laughs> the band called Mogwai. Uh, for some reason, I just never put it together that that's basically what their band's named after. Yeah, never thought of it for some reason. Mm. It's like the it's like the same reason I didn't know a, a pickle was a cucumber for like twenty five years of my life. Uncultured. It, it, a pickle. I always thought it was just a pickle. That's why they're called pickles. I said pickles. What the fuck? Pickles. That's not a word. So like a, a pickle's a pickle, and it's just it's its own thing. It made sense to me in my head. But nope, for reference, for any of y'all who are stupid like me, pickles are cucumbers. They're just pickled. Run and tell your mama or something. Um, for the blob! One of the weirdest, big old, grossest uh, creatures ever. Big old, big old pink. Just a big old bitch. Yeah, it goes over your suck your face like this. Um, okay, oh, cool. Where'd you my go? Camera. Jesus Christ, is my camera going to do this shit again? I swear to fucking God. <laughs> this just makes it better. I'll make oh. up time. Uh, what are we talking about? Let's see. The Blob. Uh, 80s version is the best version <laughs> of The Blob. Christ, it's basically just muck from Pokemon, if you think about it. Fro will be back, everybody. On this commercial break. Uh, during this time, take a, take a time to stretch. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Listen to some ASMR from Chandler Thompson. Um, is this where I tap the mic? I don't know how to. I don't know how to do ASMR. So, um, while he goes in, in adventures, um, I will be here, and let's we 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 can talk about our our things and stuff. And yeah, uh, I got nothing to say, so I'm trying to think of bullshit that I can come up with. At the moment, but in the meantime, uh, I hope all of y'all well. Yeah, creature, talk, talk about it or something. <laughs> Fuck. I was doing some ASMR. Okay, some, keep doing it. Some golf talk, if you will. So while he's doing that, we can talk about one of my favorite creatures in horror, which is Modor, aka the creature from the Ritual. So the Ritual is one of my favorite. Uh, Creatures in the past like five, six years. A lot of people don't know that's not a Wendigo. That is Modor, which is based off Nordic folklore, and he is a bastard son of the god Loki. For those of you who don't know who Loki is, you haven't really been living lately. But yes, it's the same Loki as in the Marvel Universe, just depicted a little differently. Uh, one of the coolest creatures, super cool creature reveal. If you haven't seen the ritual, go watch it. Very, very dark, just deep, deep. Ooh. It's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Deep and dark. <laughs> um, so, really dark movie. Uh, really good movie. Really bleak. Um, 
set in a forest, so it's already terrifying. I can't remember if it's like is it American dudes or is it Irish okay. dudes. I don't know. Okay, Whatever. Dude. Great movie. Watch it. Uh, enjoy it. Definitely one of the best creature films I've seen lately. Bro, how's it going over there? Not good, bud. Oh. Not good. Sony, your ass is grass. Cut this shit out. <laughs> it's probably going to fucking happen again. <laughs> Stupid. Dude, is I don't it, get it because the last time I fucking tested it, I ran three and a half hours with no issues. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the cable or something like that. I don't think so because I used all the same shit. I don't. Yeah. I really don't know. Eh, well, fuck it. We'll see what happens. We were talking about Le Blob. Le Blob, pink and pink, like uh, Alaskan bullworm, but he's like goo. And he's not hairy, but no. You know, Alaska Bourne's hairy, and he'd be clapping Sandy's cheeks. You know what I mean? He did. Actually, she'd be riding it. So I don't, I don't um, know. Yeah, she did. She did ride it. So I'm gonna start making that reference. Like, I wish a girl would ride me like Sandy rode the Alaskan bullworm. So she gonna say yeehaw? I guess. Absolutely. Nice. Cowgirl, come on, bro. Oh, mine's more like a, a, an Alaskan bull inchworm. You know what I mean? Rather than Alaskan bullworm, but Alaskan you know. benchworm. Benchworm. Mm. <laughs> and man, if you've seen a big worm, you've seen a big marshmallow. We're talking about Stay Puff from motherfucking Ghostbusters. You're one of the coolest. On point. One of the coolest. One of the coolest creatures ever made. I just want to poke him. He's so cute and just fat. Because they're big. like, we, we think of something that was from our childhood and that wouldn't hurt us. And he's like, Ugh. and then he like you come to a building and they light on fire and shit. You sort of just want to eat him. Like, is he technically a big marshmallow? I mean, or is he, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, why can't you just like, why didn't all the townspeople come together and just gnaw on his leg? Prevent him from walking. The movie. I'm ch- what do you I mean? Did you didn't, you didn't, did not- were you not on the writing <laughs> I did not write. I was a sperm. I was not alive. <laughs> you were a wiggly sperm. I was not alive when Ghostbusters was released. Well, so that's no. not my fault. You should have been there writing it with your s- sperm pen. Put that on the ban list. I don't like it. I don't like it, but we're going to put it on the ban list anyway. <laughs> Sperm pen. It's pretty golden. For those of you that don't know, we have a list of band names that are absolutely horrific. And there's like they're like 200 plus long at this point. And we just added sperm pen to it. So enjoy that. Take it for what it is. If you name your band Sperm Pen and you get popular, we get royalties. Thank you. What's next? Speaking of that, the blob is technically a big ass sperm anyway. So just big old pink goopy s- sperm. <laughs> this is what you sign Man, up for. I want to graboid a gun. <laughs> so <laughs> are you going to do segues for I everyone? I like it. this. Trammers. Can we start God. doing this for yes, everyone? I'm really good at it. Trammers, big ass sandworm. You got Reba McIntyre. You got Kevin Bacon. What more do you want? They blow Literally, it up. Honestly, even without a, like a monster in that film, I could have just watched Kevin Bacon, Kevin Bacon, and Reba McIntyre. That's it. Yeah, for sure. Just bacon being bacon. You know what I mean? Bacon being bacon. He be sizzling in that desert when he's fighting tremors. <laughs> God, dang it! That's another movie I need to rewatch. Man, if only he had luck like a clover. God dang! Fucking Clover, the Cloverfield spider monster thing. Man, these puns are really good, y'all. They're good, man. I like it. We need to, we need um, to make this a thing. Th- that shit, I don't really like the first Cloverfield. I like 10 Cloverfield Lane a lot. I, I don't mind the first Cloverfield. I think it's pretty good. Um, obviously, they pull the whole Jaws method as well, where they don't show the monster for a very long time. They did a really good job of it. I'm yawning. Ah. Um, <laughs> Dang, he do be yawning. So I think they did a pretty good job of it overall. I think it's entertaining. Um, but I don't know. Parts of it, 
could have been done a little bit better. The reveal was cool. I liked that. Um, but for what it was at its time, I think Cloverfield was one of those movies that almost sort of like revolutionized um, just that that sort of really shaky found footage, like, like super monster eight? reveal. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think it definitely made a point when it came out. It and like, I think what, it's, that and District 9 were around the same time, I think. I think District 9 came out later, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong. Uh, District 9 is great. But District 9 is not really the same style of filming, but you right. obviously Alien is still a great movie. Um, but I don't know. Cloverfield, I do enjoy it, but 10 Cloverfield Land is definitely a better film. I mean, we could say the aliens in that movie are creatures. John Goodman's a creature. <laughs> I love John Goodman. John Good, thank you for being an actor, John Goodman. <laughs> He's definitely not going to watch this. No, he's not. But if you ever do, I love you to death. Thank you for being an incredible actor. You lost like 200 pounds lately, and that shit's wild. Um, he's not the same. He will never be the same. Um, I'm, I'm really trying to oh, think of a transition. Waiting on the pun. Hold on, wait. Um, wait. Let me see if I got this. Hold on. What are we, what are we on? Hold on. Hold on. Clover. Oh, I already talked about him technically. Okay, but... cool. Then we can, we can move past it. I technically talked about Modor. So um, that's, a, that's a really we, hard. We got the, 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 the Guomo. I don't know if we, we did. We technically didn't talk about. Well, are we going to talk about Windigos on this one? We say no. no let's talk about encrypteds. Oh, okay. We're saving encrypteds. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, Guomo. Uh, Guomo which, from the host. Yeah. So I don't know what the hell the creature is from the host, the Korean film, two thousand six or two, yeah, it's two thousand six, right? Um, yeah. I don't know what the hell that creature is. Some type of amphibious uh, fucking, I don't know, four-legged, tail-smacking ass bitch. Fucking, that's my favorite, part. my favorite part of the movie is when that dude's just running casually and he just fucking whiplashes him with his tail yeah. just smacks him in the water. That movie's gonna, great, by the way. I'm going to try and fix my camera real quick, so I am going to disappear. Keep talking. I'm here. I am in your heart. Ah. I, am, I, am, I am in your life forever. Now you end my soul. Yes. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I fucking am. Oh my God. Okay. Well, okay. Uh -huh. I'm off to fucking, I don't know. Now I'm trying to think of a pun or something else. Uh, what we got? I don't fucking know. Uh, something. But what? if you haven't watched, if you haven't watched the host, watch that. It's a great Korean film. Um, one of the better ones, actually. It's it's become relatively well known, I think, at this point. But the creature design it's really cool. CGI is not the best thing in the world, but it's mid two thousand, so you can't really expect much. But just the way it's done. Ooh. Ah. You got it, you bitch. My bad. Tired. Um, it's very good. I actually went to bed at a decent hour last night. Believe it or not, I went to bed Love at like mid you. I went to bed at like midnight, which never happens to me. And I know for some people they're cringing because they're like, "That's late as shit." That's early for me. So I was tired. I played pickleball for like three hours and said, I'm going to get some sleep. And I did. Nice. So there you go. Um, how, do, how's do, your do, camera? Do, uh, it's, it's, it's fine. Do you want me to, do you want me to transition into the next one? Sure. Man, I couldn't bear to see that fucking thing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's good. It's good. Thank you. Uh, we're talking about Homer 10 from uh, Annihilation, which I didn't know that was the bear's name, but apparently it is in Annihilation, uh, if you haven't seen it. He has a name. I'm yawning so much. My bad, guys. Um, but yeah, the bear from Annihilation, I don't even know if it's considered a bear at that point, because that thing's terrifying in its own right. Only has about half of its face missing. It's like this giant grizzly bear its skull and it just absolutely mauls everybody um arguably the most terrifying bear in horror aside from the one from bat country but i'd probably pick the one from annihilation to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything so and it can mimic voices that's more terrifying voices i don't it's know that it's fixed we're just gonna fucking ride it out so. i mean it, it looks like it's working so i mean for right now uh, mm. Light, we'll lights the gamble, it. throw the fucking dice, I guess. Um <laughs> that shit's scary. Um man, um you're in denial if you don't like Belial. 
He's a little pile of flesh that was cut off his brother's body, you know? Basket case. Um, you know, the way cooler version of Malignant. Yeah, I said it. Fight me. Um, you mean the darker half? Yeah, that too. Uh, basket case. Uh, weird ass movie. Belial uh, likes to eat fucking everything. Like, and he literally is like, and then he screams and it's not a it's not a very inhuman scream um below you in bed <laughs> i don't like it no well, i mean i'm gonna go <laughs> God dang. that's the song um, you know? yeah like yeah i mean he screams yeah, a lot yeah, though yeah. i can't even mm-hmm. make his scream no yeah. i can neither can i not um tried. But yeah, Belial's cool though. He's just a little little pile of flesh with some arms and this a looks lot like a, of teeth. Looks like a ball sack with teeth, pretty much. I mean, not wrong. Um, transition. Um, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck with this one. <laughs> I'm trying. Come on, brain. We're gonna pull Jimmy Neutron. Think brain and then, blast, and then the well, I can't do the brain blast yet because it hasn't happened yet. Oh, oh it's got to go through the, the transition with like the, the hamster the, wheel, and yeah, shit. like the lightning cycle, um, thing, whatever. Uh, you, you, you like meat? So does this flower. Her name's Audrey, too, and she's a fucking alien Venus flytrap. Rick Moranis is in this, Steve, Steve. Fucking, fucking Martin's in this movie. Fucking rocks. Movie um, does fucking rock. Yeah, but Audrey's like, BBC I don't remember all the words. I haven't watched it in a long time. Suddenly, Seymour. Song rocks. Yeah, Romantic no, as shit. No, I got Light, stuck in my head. Pull out your lighters for Suddenly Seymour over here. Um, do not pull out your lighter at your house. Because I don't hate that lighter. No, don't do it. Yeah, don't don't ever do it. Um, life. Fuck your letter. Um. <laughs> uh. The Baba Duke gonna make you Baba Dukey because he's so scary. Um. I, do, do we know what he is? Do we know what the Baba Duke is? I got nothing after Baba Dukey. Um. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what he is. I don't technically know what he is either. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I he's, he's just he's, a man who wears a jacket and a top hat. Pretty much. He's, he's a little creepy little shadow puppet thing. You know what I mean? Even though the kid in that movie is scarier than the Babadook. So. Yeah. I mean, I don't honest. like how he'd be hanging up on the ceiling and shit, but like. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Fuck not. Uh, Babadook's cool, though. Real gay icon. Shout out to the gay icon, the, the Babadook. The, tr- the true gay icon, That's the Babadook. You know what I mean? Um, if we're talking creatures, by the way, and annoying children. Technically, the kid from Vivarium is a creature. Fair, and he's annoying. He's more annoying. If you but it was me. cool because he crawled under a sidewalk. He did, but Jesse Eisenberg himself is probably considered a creature in real life because that dude's weird. Dude's fucking weird, bro. I, I don't know what to say about him. He's weird. Makes me uncomfortable. I feel that this one's easy. Easy transition. Jeeper. Creepers, um, eat your fucking eyes. Um, that wasn't uh, even like a pun transition. You just I know that's just what happens. I didn't write the movie. <laughs> he likes eyeballs. I did not write the movie. <laughs> Where's good those beepers? Eyeballs. He's gonna fucking eat them. You don't give a shit. Yeah, but I went. I went for a pun. You know, like a pun to transition, um, not the song. Um. Okay. Uh. Man, the director really be creeping on them kids. Oh, God. Max. Glad that he's not associated with it anymore. Ah, oh, Victor, Victor Silva, you are not a good person. You're a terrible um, human being. I apologize for my dark year. Um, the creeper is cool. Uh, he's he's got one of those fucking like clamshell heads too. I don't know what they're supposed to represent. Yeah, he's got the little. Like, yeah, uh, I don't. But, the tendrils or whatever the fuck they yeah, are. Yeah, and he Just sniffs weird. a lot. He uh, creepy met, looking, bro. We met Jonathan Breck. He's a really nice guy. Uh, and he also sniffs when he talks to you. 
He does. He, he stays the character. It's very cool. But uh, yeah, like I, it's funny because the transition between Jeepers Creepers one and two, like first one, he's like, I'm gonna get you. Uh, and then second one, he's like, I'm gonna chase you through a cornfield. Uh, I'm a fucking bat. And then he's like, I'm gonna lick this window and be horny. And then the third one, no, we don't, we don't talk about. And then the the fourth one, we really don't. Also, talk about. no. Big nose. Justin Long um, just being like, nah. Absolutely um, not. Yep, here's a good trick. Yep. Mm-hmm. Where's the put on this one? Let's see. Are you ready? Yep. Four. You ever seen a dick in an attic? Um, well, uh, Bo did. He was afraid and he went into the attic and he found a giant penis monster that he stabbed in the ball sack with a, was it a sword? I don't remember. Or a coat hanger or something. Or like something. scissors or something. I don't know. I don't know. But but he stabbed the giant dick monster in his giant ball sack in an attic. That's one of the best creatures. And I don't know how it doesn't get mentioned a lot right now. Because awesome. I feel like a lot of people sick. don't. I, I feel like a lot of people didn't go see Bo's Afraid. It's true. I'm not saying well, it's underrated, but it's like, I don't really think or we never hear anyone talk about it. So, I, I think know. mainly because of its length and also the fact that it's not really a horror film. But True. at the same time, when you get a giant penis monster fight, pretty sick. It's definitely a horror film, if you ask me. I mean, that thing was terrifying. Yeah. Not it was also the, also the last thing I expected to see. Like, when I was watching that film, I'm like, okay, there's some weird shit in this movie. I get it. That's a big-ass dick with... A mouth and teeth, and oh, okay, we're gonna go with yeah. that. We're just gonna ha- let it happen. Um, is it is it really good of me that I'm like trying to think ahead? I'm like looking at the list. I was like, <laughs> what you got next? Um, uh, I've been crawling in the dark. Shout out to Hoobastank, man. Uh, yeah, the the crawlers and uh, they're based <laughs> off. Skinwalkers, right? Are they I, was so, those technically? First, first off, you should have said, I've been crawling in the dark looking for the answers in this fucking cave I can't get out of. Um, so I think they're technically uh, Wendigos. Technically. They're, they're called like the crawlers and like their own creatures, but original Wendigos look like humanoid, like white flesh cannibals like they do in like Until Dawn. Um, or do you think they're just people that got stuck in a cave and because there's no light down there, they lose all their pigment and now they're just really white trying to get out. So they're just mad pasty people. Yeah. Like me, your, your, your family. Yeah. I'm sad pasty, mad pasty and sad pasty are different things, man. They'd be <laughs> mad pasty down there. God dang. I mean, technically, Wendigos come about because they give into the temptation of cannibalism. So more than likely, if they got stuck down there, started eating their friends or whatever because they couldn't do anything else, then they turned into Wendigos. True. So, eh, maybe? I don't know if the lore is ever really discussed with the Descent. I've never looked it up. I don't know. Um, The plot twist, though. Well, alternate ending twist is... Yeah, yeah. Which one do you like better? (laughs) Because I wish they'd actually release it on like a like a yeah. I think I like the ultimate ending like, just for its bleakness. Me too. And just for what it is, it's just like oh yeah, we had it uh, at uh fuck us. We're nope. Um, just because I like it when movies do that, and it was also like one of the earlier movies that probably did something along the lines of that. But um, yeah, I, I'll probably take the alternate ending. Okay. Um. Great transition. Uh, no, I'm thinking, hang on. Okay. Um, man, look at this dingle hopper and this thingamajig. The only thing you can see it as a merman. Um, the, the merman from cabin of the woods <laughs> is terrifying. Uh, your transitions are flawless right now. Thank you, um, thank you very much. I'm proud. I mean, let, let's be real. Cabin of the woods has a plethora of ridiculous monsters that are technically yeah. all based off of other horror movies. Um, That's the like, Mer- I say that in my live every time. Like, if you don't like Cabin in the Woods, you probably shouldn't watch horror. Cause that's yeah, I don't, I don't really movie. get, yeah, I don't get the people who are like, that movie sucked or it's ridiculous. I'm like, it's literally a satire based off every other horror film. Yep. Like it doesn't take itself seriously. It's funny. It's got a great twist. It's gory. Like, what don't you like about it? I just, yeah. there's nothing to hate about that film. Nothing. 
And you have Chris Hemsworth in it before he got famous. You're right. Come on. And it's got uh, Richard Jenkins. Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. Um, Richie, Richie Jenky. Jenky, Richard. Jenky, Jenky Richard. That's it. <laughs> Janky Richie. Janky oh, Richie. God. There we go. Um, um, yeah, there's they, they made so many cool creatures for that. And you get to see a bunch of people get stabbed by a unicorn. So like well, yeah, you get to see that. You get to see the evil ass clown. You get to see the Hellraiser knockoff, uh, which is Saul Man or Buzz Saul Man, whatever the yeah, fuck it is. Um that is, it's cool that they're all based off of other horror characters. I mean, obviously the uh like the stereotypical redneck zombie family. It is cool that he throws bear traps though. Like on a chain, that shit was pretty Very sick. sick. Um yeah. trying to think of all the other creatures. Uh the the rip off of the strangers people uh, mask. Uh it's like the doll faces and shit like that. Um obviously the merman, always a fun one. Yeah. Um the zombies, the giant ass cobra, that thing was pretty sick. The unicorn. I haven't watched Cabin in the Woods in a while. I need to rewatch it. I re that's in my top ten horror films. Like I love that movie. Nice. Like I haven't rewatched it in a while, but I just it's so enjoyable. You're gonna hate this transition, but I have to do it. So we go. Oh, I don't even know what we're on. Hold on. Jack in the box, bitch. <laughs> um, yeah, the Jack in the box from Krampus. We can talk about Krampus too, because Krampus is. Yeah, Krampus is a creature on his own. Yeah, that's also true. Yeah, he's just just a weird ass old goat man who hates. He's horny, children. homeboy. Horny. He, he, he do be, and he hates children. He be horny as fuck. And he puts them in his sack, and then <laughs> again, I, I didn't. I, 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 <laughs> children shouldn't be going near Krampus' sack. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm See, if they were good, then they wouldn't go in there. <laughs> if they were if they just listen to their parents, they wouldn't be going in there. Bad kids be going to Krampus's sack every year, bro. <laughs> oh, I come no. up with the next part. There? Yeah, there you go. Sorry, you paused for a second. You're there. Goddamn. Hey, yeah. Talk about the Jack in the Box. Oh, I, I talk about Jack. Well, he's technically yes. like. I guess he's technically like a clown, isn't he? Sort of? I think so. It's like a clown worm hybrid. He'd be in a box, you know, like Justin Timberlake's dick. A clown? Um, a clown? A clown clown worm hybrid? Clerm. Alaskan Alaskan bull clown. Um, <laughs> probably one of the most terrifying creatures in recent memory. Because if I went in an attic and I saw that shit, I wouldn't really know what to do. Um, I wish it almost got its own thing, but at the same time, it doesn't move much. It just sort of, it's there and then yeah. just was gone. So it also eats children though. That's pretty tight because fuck them kids. I'm pretty proud of this next one because anyone that has seen it knows what I'm talking about. I'm not like, we're talking about the gate, but here's how I'm going to intro the gate. You know what big Ed looks like now? Shrink him down and put him in a hole in the backyard or tree used to be. That's the gate. That is pretty damn accurate. I can't really deny that. Aside from yeah. the big ass tentacly one. Um, yeah, the gate's cool, and the gate's been streaming because every time we go live, people bring it up. Go yeah, watch the I gate had, if you haven't I, watched the gate I, before. Yeah, I had never seen it until like a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's um, fun. Everyone mentioned it, but it's just a fun teen horror film. Doesn't take itself too seriously. It's entertaining. It's not like scary or anything, but it's yeah. it's it's fun. It's a fun little creature feature. It's, it's lighthearted. Yeah, it's lighthearted, it's fun, it's enjoyable. The effects aren't the best thing in the world, but that's sort of the fun of it. It's cheese. Um, but it's good cheese. I, enjoy, I thought it was great. I thought it was a fun movie. And the demons are so cute. They waddle. Yeah. And they like, yeah, they do. They go like, la, 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 and, they, just, and then like they, they run out of you. And they can make a, a man. That's yeah. weird. They can make a fucking man in the wall. That shit was creepy. And then they all yeah. fall apart, and they're like barrel rolling and they're like ah shit run away we love that they look like um, the little worms from men in black but tinier that the yeah just a little bit a little bit thicker thicker speaking thicker. of creatures let's talk about the worms from men in black fucking weird ass me guapa can, can we call can we talk ah. about vincent d'onofrio because technically he's a he's a oh, creature dude cockroach man oh <laughs> yeah i I'm, i'll never get over the fact like just his just like his mouth his, being yeah, off centered. I don't, I don't and just, like the mouth. Uh, 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 like, yeah. uh, uh, I hate it. Oh, uh, give me sugar. 
Um, <laughs> you thinking of the transitions is even funnier than any of this. <laughs> so too. Um, good luck. Oh, oh, here he goes. He's trying. Man, I want some head, and it better be a pumpkin. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, pumpkin head's cool. Because he doesn't even look like a pumpkin. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of confused of where pumpkin head came from because I feel yeah, like he doesn't I, I don't look remember, like, that at all. like I mean, I know they do like the spell toward him and they do a sacrifice, but it's just like I, I kind of wish his head was a pumpkin. He's going to sacrifice himself. He's going to ah. sacrifice himself. Um, but yeah, pumpkin maybe. head's cool. Like I don't really like any of them past the first one. I yeah, think a, I do think a remake would be really cool. I couldn't tell you what happened in anything past the first one. Yeah. Like I didn't I forgot the other ones existed. So in my head, Pumpkinhead is the only movie in that entire thing. But cool creature. Would like to see a more modern take on it. Would be interesting. And if you've never seen the picture of the scene where the dude jumps the uh fucking words, uh jumps the I believe in you. I'm, I, I don't. That's a bad part. Uh, I believe in a thing. Dirt, dirt bike. When he jumps the dirt bike, there's a picture of him and the dude who played Pumpkinhead is wearing Nike Cortez. That picture is very sick. It is sick. He should have been in motocross. Yeah. You know, with his twin sister. Yeah. And they I mean, sorry, pretend, her, her, her yeah, brother. Yeah, could have pretended to be a girl when he was a dude. And then, like, you know. Yeah. Um, like, she's the man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay. I got to say, um, just, just, yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah, I'm thinking of the next pun. Leave me alone. Oh. Um, th this is what the people are here for, anyway. The bullshit. Just the puns. Um, um, you smile in your sleep. Fucking. <laughs> um, I was not expecting the silver stain. You're, you're welcome. Um, yeah. Goes smile. Hard. The movie was okay. Uh, the creature was really cool because it had like five fucking mouths. Sorry, my There's nose. Some pitchy. shit. Uh, yeah, it had like, like five fucking mouths. Yeah, it was like a mouth within a mouth within a mouth or some shit. Well, did, yeah. How was the reveal done? Did, did it peel its like flesh off? It, once like it its came face out of that? off or some yeah. shit. Yeah, they're definitely cool creatures. And honestly, from the rest of the movie, that's like the best part. That is the best part. It's not even close. Honestly, I mean, like the movie's all okay. The scares in the trailer. Yeah, like I don't get that. The movie's okay. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. It's overhyped. Yes, people think it's like the best thing ever. It's not. It follows did that concept way better. But, yeah. um, like I, I don't know. Like the trailer legitimately gave away some of the best scares. It gave away all three. It's like especially the, like the sister. The, the sister yeah, with the neck in the car. Yeah. Why would you give that away in the trailer? Like, I, I don't know understand. why did Superman give away Doomsday in the trailer? Some things that, we'll never know. That is one of the dumbest. But yeah, the, the creature design was cool. And like, it's weird because it's just like in a random ass cabin. Yeah. And it's sort of in the same element, I guess. The boogeyman, which is also on the list, um, sort of came out there. Uh, it came, obviously came out within, not, what did Small came out this year, didn't it? Yeah, January or February. Right. Yeah. So same year. Um, the Boogeyman creature's okay. The creature design was cooler than I thought it was going to be. Also had like two a cool scenes. A mouth. Was it, no, it was hands within the mouth. Right. Yeah, that or, came out. Yeah. 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 So I mean, that was pretty cool. But the overall movie, once again, was okay. Nothing incredible, but the creature designs relatively dope, like memorable. I I'm mean, if you're into if you're into creatures and stuff, like definitely check them both out. For sure. Yeah, um, definitely. They're worth one watch. I'll, I'll say that. I think so. Um, uh, you you get to talk about the birch because I've never seen it. So, Oh, you don't want to come up with I, a pun? I can't, I can't come up with a good pun because I don't know anything about it. Damn, I must have morning wood because the birch is here. Uh, <laughs> for, those, for those of you who haven't seen the birch with Crypt TV <laughs> on YouTube... Uh, um, the birch is like this giant wooden tree bitch. Uh, with Man, like, I love Lord of the Rings. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Imagine the giant trees from uh, Lord of the Rings, just smaller, and she looks like some weird version of a woman with a hat on. Is So is she an end? Is she a what? An end? Because that's what they are in Lord of the Rings. They're ends. 
Oh, uh, no, not that I'm aware of. She's like this evil spirit or whatever. And basically but she's this, a wood woman. Uh, she's, she's called the birch. Cause she's like, she's like the queen of the forest, like the evil spirit of the forest. So she's like of the wood. She's like, she's like the queen, like, birch. like, like birch wood. Yeah. Um, or, you know, birch bitch. Um, yeah, that's and how, that's how it's going. Yeah. You know, and she basically is conjured because the kid's like, I'm being bullied. This dude sucks. Uh, fuck him. And then beat him with wood. Yeah. And it pretty hey, much it, it, like, you know, like Junie got his ass beat by a piece of wood in Halloween. So uh, yeah. same thing, really, except she just monstrously tears these kids apart. And it's it's pretty sick. We love that. Shout out to Crypt TV on YouTube. You got this. I believe in you. Um. <laughs> You must be Delulu if you run into Cthulhu. Because <laughs> he fucks with your head. I was going to say. <laughs> That's good. I was say, it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion of the ocean. <laughs> but it's real bad when there's a real big boat. And this real big boat happens to be a creature called Cthulhu. And uh, Underwater is a sick-ass movie, and it's the only depiction of Cthulhu. Uh, I don't think not, it's the only depiction. It's one of the most... Well, we, we have depictions of the Kraken, but not Cthulhu. Well, really. like, so a cult, I think a cult technically has depictions of Cthulhu. Same with Record of Sweet Murder at the end. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. technically Cthulhu, even though it doesn't show like True. his full form, I guess. Underwater was cool because one, no one expected that to be a Lovecraftian film. Yeah. That was out of nowhere. Two, uh, Underwater, which already makes it scary. Three, it was like a full ass depiction of him overall, which was really cool. I liked seeing that uh, just because I feel like there's not a lot. Of like Cthulhu mythos when it comes to like actual movies, um, at least not newer films, we'll say. Um, but overall, really cool. And then obviously the episode with um, Love, Death, and Robots. Yeah, uh, recent memory that. with that one too. That was a really cool depiction of Cthulhu as well. Um, so yeah, I don't. I'd like to see more stuff that they can uh, do a cool adaptation of it. Because if we can do games, that many fucking shark movies, we can do Cthulhu movies. We can. That is very true. So, I mean, there's definitely hints to like Lovecrafting stuff here and there, but Cthulhu, I feel like, is should be much more popular than he is. We'll say that. Yeah. Delulu Cthulhu. Um. Ah, monster. There we go. Now we're on the monster because I haven't seen it, and it's an A24. So you get to talk uh, about it. Yeah. So it's not. Like the most memorable thing in the world, I'd say it's one of A24's like lesser known films, but it's called The Monster. Um, the creature design in it's actually pretty cool, it's nothing breathtaking, but tell me about it. it. It's basically a mother and a daughter get trapped in their car and like a little like road trip or whatever, and they encounter a monster, so to speak. And it's really just like a fight for survival, or is it type of scenario? Mm. Um, and it's interesting. The creature design is nothing insane, but it's fun. It's it's well done and it's low budget ish. So it's fun. I'd say go watch it. It's worth one watch. Okay. Um, it's literally just called the monster. They don't have a name for it. I'm pretty sure. Interesting. This one's gonna be weird because I have to start with one. Um. Uh. No pun. Old people are scary, y'all. The fucking old lady from Legion, she be eating a bloody ass steak. Then she goes, your kid's gonna die. And then she crawls on the ceiling your and bites a bunch of people. Your, your baby's gonna burn. <laughs> yeah, that and then, just, Does she eating just raw ass meat? That's, that's what I'm saying. Gross. Like raw meat. And then Ice Cream Man comes out and he's like, a habala, habala. And that's, yeah. Dude, he do be like that. He be hobbling. He be, he be hobbling and hobbling, you know, with his long ass fucking fucking uh gumbo ass limbs. You know what I mean? Gumbo? G gumbo gumby. Gum what's the damn green creature that's flat? <laughs> gumby. Gumby. <laughs> He's got gumbo ass limbs. Gumbo God gumby. Damn. You know what I mean? Gumbo be gumbying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I was close. <laughs> Go watch it. Go it's watch one. It's one. It's in a one letter off. Gumbo and Gum how do you spell Gumby? G U M B Y. Yeah, it's one letter off. Fuck off. 
Same shit. Maybe Gumby went to New Orleans and got some gumbo. You know? Uh, damn. He Watch did. Legion if you haven't. Both those characters are really crazy looking. Uh, uh, Troll Hunter, one of the most underrated Time found footage, footage films. Ever. It's not really like, I don't know if I can, I consider it partial horror film. It's, it's, more like, a, it's like horror fantasy. Um, yeah. Homeboy gets, Homeboy gets knocked the fuck out by a troll. <laughs> Still he one does. of my favorite scenes. He just gets absolutely decked and the troll's just like, nah, fuck you. Um, but it's cool because all the troll designs are unique in their own way. They're I all different. So. None of them are the same. It's a fun film. And even the newer movie that came out called Troll, um, not a horror film, but it was relatively fun. And the creature design was somewhat cool. Um, much bigger troll in that film than in Troll Hunter, but still mm -hmm. very good. So watch that shit if you haven't. Nice. And man, what a better thing to end this list on. I thought on. you, I, okay. Mm -hmm. I have to set the scene. Yep. They're eating her. And then they're going to eat me. No. <laughs> We're talking about Troll 2, everybody. The best worst movie of all time. Um, They're just little, little ugly little dudes. Yeah, that same with like the Leprechaun for the Leprechaun series. He went to the hood, bro. Hornswoggle's ugly too. They had to teach him how to use a bomb. <laughs> Uh, Hornswoggle, you mean make Vince McMahon's son, bro? Come on now. I mean, she's always, pretty ugly too. So always hanging out. <laughs> that ugly? Stephanie's hot. Stephanie isn't Hornswoggle. I'm, neither is Shane. Fair. <laughs> I guess. Shane and Hornswoggle. Vince McMahon has a mustache now. Where are we going with this? Yeah, he looks Looking scary. like a drug lord. He a creature himself, bro. That should look creepy. When we talk about the boogeyman, we can talk about the boogeyman from WWE. He's coming to get you, bro. Oh, he's he got terrible. and he got he got worms. That shit was gross. Yeah, those were real worms too. Like I remember someone talking about that and how they put it like that was they literally had to just like take that shit. It was just like yeah, eh, gross. No. Eh. Your intro for the TikTok should definitely be the troll thing now. Just the Zoom. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know. It's pretty good. I really thought when you said man in the beginning, you were just going to be like, I feel like a woman. Let's go, girls. Then yeah. She's so hot. She's still, rocks. She's still so hot. fucking rocks. All her songs are bangers. Every single one of them. That, that's what I'm saying. Just killing it. Huh? Well, thank you everyone for checking out the newest episode. We are back. I mean, I, I hope we're consistent this time. Oh, um, well, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the episode. Make sure to go follow us on TikTok. We're trying to hit 7,500 followers before Halloween. And with your uh, help, we can do that. Uh, we've been going live. What are you, fucking consistently. Tatum, bro? <laughs> you wow, just did. Wow, you did the bomb <laughs> com, <laughs> um, but yeah. We're trying, to, we're trying to hit 7,500 followers before Halloween, and you guys have been helping us out a lot. We've been going live a lot lately, and you guys interacting in the lives is super cool. Thank you for liking the post and the content, and those of you who are still following the podcast, thanks. I know we've been gone, but thank you for your constant support. Uh, is there anything else you would like to say, Chan La? Go, go! Doodly-doo! <laughs>